Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. This is a super fresh beer from Maine Beer Company. Thank you, India Pale Ale 2023. Look at this bottling date. March 14th. That was like two, three weeks ago. That is very, very fresh, considering where, where it came from. So, you get into the Spiegel IPA glass, and I mean, it looks like an IPA. It's a little more gold or amber than orange. And it's not super hazy like so many of the hazy IPAs of the day. In fact, Untapped actually has it listed as just an American IPA. It's only 6.1 ABV, unknown IBUs. So it says Hop Citra Mosaic HPC 586. Maris Otter Vienna Flake Oats Light Munich Carousel C40. All right, cool. Uh, I don't know what to say, so let's dive in for the aroma. Hmm. Yeah, I would say uh, pretty tropical smelling, but also has a, like a slight kind of grassy or herbal note on it. Almost a little spice or something. It's not quite as juicy smelling as like, you know, the hazy IPAs and things like that. I mean, this smells a little more old school, more like, you know, West Coast style IPA. Tropical. It's almost like red grapefruit, um, probably pineapple, I'd probably say mango. Trying to get that baseball in there, but you know, it's pretty nondescript. Six point one ABV. That is like <laughs> that is like Bud Light by today's IPA standard. So let's dive in. Cheers. Hmm. Definitely tastes a little more juicy than it smells. Kind of has like the flavor of a hazy IPA, but without the actual haziness. I mean, this is definitely a little hazy. I mean, it's, super, it's not crystal clear, obviously, but it's just lacking that straight up, you know, milkshake composition of like so many of the hazy IPAs. I would not say big hot flavor on here, but I mean, it's, it's you know, I would say it's definitely hot forward. Um, like I said on the, the nose, uh, tropical aromas, especially, I think it's more, I think pineapple, mango, that's pretty much it. And also, I'm definitely getting like a ruby red grapefruit on here as well. But bitterness is pretty restrained. This is 6.1 ABV, so if this was an old school IPA, it would be 61 IBUs. But it strikes me as being a little lower than that, probably about 40. It doesn't. It's not like that super bitter of a beer. In fact, I mean, if Untapped had called this a hazy IPA, I could see it being a hazy IPA because it is juice smelling and low bitterness. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of drinks like a pale ale almost, but I would say it's definitely a little more bitterness than a standard American pale ale, although it seems like nobody makes those anymore other than like Sierra Nevada, which we will get to eventually. Um, but yeah, this is uh, just reminding you of like an old school, you know, 90s, early 2000s type IPA back when people wanted like more hops than just a pale ale but weren't ready for you know dogfish 90 or ruination or something like that i will say this is pretty tasty i do like that interplay of the tropical fruits citrus i think there's like a tiny little bit of like pine or resin in the background but it is not sticky or syrupy it's not dank anything like that it's just it, you know what? it reminds me a lot of just Stone IPA. It's actually quite similar to that. Mm. Yeah, so for the mouthfeel, I'd probably put it like medium. Yeah, I think it's about medium and moderate carbonation as well. Maybe even moderately high. Um, doesn't strike me. It's not like one of those super thick, sticky uh, IPAs. And it's, you know, certainly not like a Bud Light paper thin thing either. Uh, nice drinkability on this one. I will say it's refreshing while it's in the mouth. The hops linger a little, um, but like, so I have like that hop, slightly spicy, slightly grassy aftertaste, um, no alcohol whatsoever, you know, at 6.1, you probably wouldn't think there would be any anyways. Uh, seems to be pretty clean fermentation on here. I'm not getting esters or anything. It's interesting because they have like so many specialty malts in here and like none of them are really coming through. Maris Otter, Vienna Flaked Oats, Light Munich, um, yeah, I mean, uh, you would think like with those that much specialty malts, you would get like some t 
toast or caramel or something like that. I mean, maybe they're there, but they are like real, real low. It's just to me, it just strikes me as being, you know, just straight up, you know, pale malt and lots of hops. Uh, so I'm probably gonna go. I'm thinking somewhere between three and a half and a four, like between a seven and eight. I'm, I, it really doesn't strike me as being anything better than that. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't go out. I'm not in a rush to go out and buy this again. And this was like eight, eight fifty something like that. It was eight and change for this one bottle, and it doesn't strike me as being an eight dollar beer. So that you know the price of the beer actually plays a role in like how much I like or dislike it, or well you know or how much I'm impressed by it I should say. Yeah, so probably three and a half, maybe four. Check my Instagram and check my untap for the final final grade. Sometimes I have a you know change of heart between now and when I write, write the review up. All right, so if you watch all the way in, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys real soon. Cheers. <laughs>